it's me, Miss Jess, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of our manipulative skill. Okay, so this is really good for working on our imagination and also our balance and lots of development and lots of other things too. But to start off with, we are going to need our plastic plate. Okay, so I've got my hard frisbee with me today. So grown-ups, for this one, you can help your little ones do this if they are struggling. But for our older ones, we can do this one all by ourselves, okay? So make sure we've grabbed ourselves a plastic plate. And we're going to start by sitting down on the floor. So we're going to put our plastic plate down on the floor. And everyone, can we start by using the palms of our hands? And can we tap the top and go, Tra Can we make some fun to go drumming, drumming, go bang, 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 and stop. Well done, everyone. Okay, before we do get started, though, can you all tell me, is this plastic plate hard or soft? Do you know? Well done, you're right, it is hard. So that means that we need to be very careful and copy everything I do, okay? So, boys and girls, can we put our plastic plate upside down on the floor and we're going to get our pointer finger now and can we draw all the way around our plastic plate using your pointer finger all the way around well done good drawing everyone but does anybody know what shape we're drawing is it a square <laughs> okay I'm being silly of course it's not a square Yes, you're right, it's a circle. Good job, everyone. Okay, now, boys and girls, can we stretch our legs out into our straddle position or our V position with our legs? Okay, we're gonna be pushing our plate with our hands now forward, okay? But I want to make sure that your legs are really straight and your toes and knees are pointing up to the ceiling, okay? So I don't want to see any bent knees. We're gonna put our hands on top of our plate and we're just gonna slowly push it forward okay as far as you can but remember keeping your legs very very straight okay so pushing your plate as far forward well done good stretching everyone like i said keep your legs really really straight yes good job boys and girls okay can we bring our legs together in our pike position so we've got our legs really really straight we're going to lift our plate up and put it between our legs. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. We're gonna squeeze very tightly with our toes together and we're gonna get some sticky glue on our hands. We're gonna go stick, stick behind us and we're gonna practice our V sit. Okay, so are we ready? We're gonna lift our legs and balance on your bottoms. Well done and all the way down again. Yeah, well done, we're gonna try that again. Are we ready? Let's lift our legs and balance on our bottoms. Well done. Okay, for some of you older ones, we're going to try and make this a little bit more difficult, okay? So this time, we're going to lift our legs, balance on our bottom, and we're going to try and reach for the plate. So we're letting go of our hands, okay? So give this one a go. You can start with your hands behind you. We're going to lift our legs, balance on our bottom, and then we're going to reach for our plate. But make sure your legs are very, very straight. Well done, and all the way down. Good job, everyone. Okay, now, can we use the palms of our hands? We're going to try and roll our plate up our legs. Ooh, can we roll it all the way up through our legs? Through the middle part. And can we roll it up our tummies? And up onto our head. Oh, look, we've got silly hats on. <laughs> well done, boys and girls. But can we now use our strong aeroplane arms? And we're going to try and stand all the way up without it falling off our heads. Oh, so we've really got to balance. We've got to really, really take it nice and slow. Well done, everyone. Yes. But, oh no. Uh, uh, ah, choo! Oh, it fell on the floor. Did yours fall on the floor as well? Okay, now, can we put our plate on the floor? We're going to use our strong aeroplane arms and we're going to lift one foot and tap it in the middle. Oh, look, it's a little pool. Is it very cold? Dip, dip, dip. 
well done. And this is also our front scale, okay? I'll show you from the side. We're gonna lift one leg, tap it right in the middle, but make sure both legs are nice and straight and you're using your strong aeroplane arms. Can we try it on the other foot? Let's lift our foot, go tap, tap, tap. Well done, everyone. That's very good balancing. Okay, now we're gonna learn our side scale. So we're gonna stand to the side of our plank now. We can still use our aeroplane arms and we're gonna lift one foot out to the side and tap it in the middle. Well done, this is our side scale. Good job. Now, can we try on the other side? Let's move to the other side of our plate and lift the other foot out and tap it to the side. Well done. Okay, now, boys and girls, make sure your plate is facing upwards, so normal way, and we're gonna stick our feet in the middle of our plates. Ooh, we're gonna use our strong arms because we're gonna be doing some twisting. Ooh, from side to side, make sure we're really using our strong arms because we don't want to fall over. Well done, we can go twist, 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 and really engaging your tummy muscles. Well done. Okay, now that we're stood in the middle of our plate, we're gonna practice our straddle jumps. Okay, so we're gonna stick our feet together in our plate. We're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna do a big jump and open our legs. One, two, three, straddle. Oh, well done, everyone. Now, can we try that one more time? Let's stick our feet together. We're gonna go one, two, three, big straddle jump. Well done. Okay, now we're gonna jump over our plate this time. So we've really got to bring our knees up nice and high. We're gonna stick our feet together. We're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna go one, two, three, big jump all the way over. Yes, well done. Should we do that one one more time? Are we ready? Let's stick our feet together. We're gonna go one, two, three, big jump over. Well done, and make sure we're landing on our feet with our knees bent and our arms straight in our stick land. Okay, for some of you old ones, we're gonna make it even harder for this bit. We're gonna try and jump backwards over our plate. So make sure we're looking over our shoulder, putting our heels as close as we can to our plate. And we're gonna bend our knees and do the same action, bringing our knees up nice and high, all the way behind. Are we ready? One, two, three, big jump, and land on your feet. Well done, that was very, very tricky. Now, I'm getting a little bit hungry doing all this exercise, so can we pick up our plates? And everyone knows that Miss Jess's favorite food is pizza, so we're gonna be making ourselves a yummy pizza. So can we pour some sauce on the top of our pizza? Yes, and what else do we need on pizza? Do we need some cheese? Yeah, let's get lots and lots of cheese. Go sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Wow, this is a very cheesy pizza. And what else can we put? Should we put lots of other ingredients as well? We can put some meat on the top and especially lots and lots of vegetables. I love sweet corn. Let's put some sweet corn and mushrooms are my favorite too. <laughs> and look, I think it's ready to eat. Can we hold it with two hands and go nom, 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 nom. Oh, that's so yummy. Nom, 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 nom. That's a very yummy pizza. But can we turn our pizzas into steering wheels? Can we hold onto it with both hands? And look, it's turned into a steering wheel for our car. Can we go driving? Can we go And look, it's got a horn. Go beep, beep. Boys and girls, can we drive our cars all the way back to our grown-ups? 